Okay, the last of the background images, we're going to be approaching this the same way that we've approached it thus far. We're just going to be simply laying in a background image through the page properties. This time, however, we're just going to play around with some of the other options that we can use to make this look a little different. I'm going to go ahead and click on page properties and I'm going to go to background image. Now I have grabbed several images prior to this and I have found this particular image. Now this image is not appropriate for a repeating type of situation. I wouldn't be able to repeat this and it's also way too busy. I wouldn't want it to repeat even if I could make it do that. But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now notice that in the previous pieces we had always done a repeat which is what that would look like. I could do a repeat X along the X axis. That's what that would look like. And a repeat Y along the Y axis. Again, that's not so bad but certainly not what I would want. In this particular case I actually don't want a repeat at all so I'm going to choose no repeat and click OK. Now that anchors that particular background image into the upper left hand corner. However, I don't actually see through it and for my purposes for demonstration I'm going to want to see through it although I'd probably for real practice go ahead and go with a much smaller image over there. But the reason I can't see that image is that the wrapper that's sitting around all of this stuff has a designation of a white background. I can tell that by looking at the wrapper here and seeing that indeed it has a white background. So how do you change or remove a color? S multiple ways to do that. I'm going to click on that wrapper. I'm going to come down and I'm going to click on the pencil to edit the rule. And here is the background color. And when I click on my palette, notice that I wouldn't want to choose white because white is the color that's currently there. This is the icon to take it back to the default or no color. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply on that and there indeed is the background showing through that box. Now from a design perspective here I'd probably want to float these boxes to the right simply so I could read them but other than that um, that's how we apply a background image and have it set just one time in the upper left hand corner and I'll show you what that looks like as a preview and there it is. Again, for a true production type site, I would have probably either found a graphic that was not as intensely colored or perhaps was smaller so that it would fade even more against this background. Alternately, here's a real quick thing, this particular content area, the main content area, I could write a quick div rule for it. And I only want it for that main content, not the entire wrapper. And I can choose the background of that to be white and click OK. And then save it. And then when I preview it, it would look like this. So by setting the background of this one division area to be white, I can begin to, I can still see my background image up here, but now I can see the content there.